Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo laptop. This is a Lenovo ThinkPad T14 Gen 1 laptop and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can remove or upgrade your storage in here and what are the combination and the brands and what are the recommendations that you should you can have in here. Just remember once you remove the hard drive, the solid state drive storage in here and you put the new one in, you're not going to have any, any windows or any operating system in it. So before you do anything, back up your files and to an external hard drive or to the cloud. And I made a really short video how to create your Windows 10 USB boot drive. I'll leave that link in the video description. Also made another video how to install it on your Lenovo laptop. It's very easy. Just plug in USB power on and it's going to auto boot from the USB and it's going to give you the step to installation. Follow any of my uh, videos for Windows installation so you don't get all those bloatware installed during the Windows installation. Those links are in the video description. All right, in this video, I'm just going to open it up and show you how to remove, how to replace the storage. So first thing first, power up the laptop, back up your files if you haven't. You want to flip upside down the laptop. And down here, we're gonna grab ourselves the screwdriver set. I'll recommend you guys to grab the iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best screwdrivers out there. We are gonna be using a Phillips number one from this tool set. If you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself for the opening tool a guitar pick. And metal guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and cover. With these two on hand, we're gonna get it started. On the bottom of the laptop, you're going to see a whole bunch of screws, a screw in the middle too, don't forget this one. So the screws have a little something called a C-lock that will hold the screw from the other side that will prevent it from coming out entirely so you don't lose them. So when you start rotating the screw, let's start from this corner, you're going to feel like a, you know, I'm rotating but it's not coming up, but I feel it is loosened up. So that's it, that's how much you want to do. You just want to rotate and then leave it there. You want to do this for the rest of the screws, including the one in the middle. Also, if you guys find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comments area. All right, now that we loosen up all the screws, so what you want to do down here is to open up the laptop a little bit, just like that. And you want to stick the opening tool, in this case, the guitar pick, in between the palm rest and the bottom cover here and we just want to twist it like this leave it and you want to hear that click sound, nice click sound that's what you want to hear don't be scared you're not going to break anything so you much you want to rotate just wiggle wiggle around the front end and you want to hear that click sound you want to do the same thing on the side on the side be careful in here right over here you want to stick the guitar pick right in here and you just want to lift it up tiny bit and it's gonna get released. Do the grill by the heatsink and do right in the back corner. And the front and the both side, left and right side. There we go. So I'm sticking the guitar pick about one or two millimeters. I'm not sticking the whole thing in there. Just one or two millimeters. Once we got that, the front and the sides, you don't need to do the back end, just grab it from here. Let me see. Okay, close it down, there we go. And work it around and it should release itself. All right, and down here we can see the whole inside of the laptop, the battery, the RAM, the heatsink, and the storage right in here. They do have another storage right in here. This is for uh, 4G, these are PCI Express, but you, if you wanna put a storage in here, you have to get a special adapter, converter, and it's like a really pain to be able to connect, uh, get an adapter and configure in here. So I'll leave this one B, don't touch it. The storage is right in here, is an M.2 PCI Express. To, to upgrade the storage, you do not need to disconnect the battery at all. It's absolutely not necessary, but if you do want to be paranoid and you want to disconnect it, all you want to do is just grab this flip thing and slide it back toward the fan. It is kind of hard, there we go. And, but again, you don't need to, to plug it back in, make sure you straight go towards the connector right there. I'll leave that in. 
Now, to remove the M.2 here, you have to remove one screw right at the back of the M.2. If you're not careful with the screwdriver, sure, go ahead and disconnect the battery. Once you remove that tiny screw, you want to lift it up about 10 degrees upward, and then you want to slide it backward. There's a thermal pad right in here. So this is an M.2 SATA. That means there's a two cut on them. These are much, much slower than NVMe, and this one does support an NVMe. The NVMe's I recommend you guys is a Samsung brand. There's a Samsung Evo Plus 970, which is really good, or you can go for the best, which is 980 Pro, okay? The NVMe's, they have only one tiny notch on the side. They don't have two notch. I don't, let me see if I have one right over here. I have one NVMe, this is a Western Digital, has one notch right in here. So what you wanna do, you wanna make sure the notch in here matches the notch right on the connector. There's one tiny notch. And you wanna bring it down in 10, 15 degree inside the connector and push it in and make sure the screw hole matches. Once the screw hole matches, all you want to do is just grab the screwdriver and screw it down right in there, just like that. And that's how you can remove it and replace. You can put up to two terabyte in here, not a four terabyte, up to two terabyte NVMe with no issues. And it's gonna work much faster than regular M.2 SATA. Once you have this one plugged in and you have the battery, Plugged in, all you want to do is to grab the bottom cover and you want to bring it over and you want to push it, put it right on top. And what you want to do, what you want to do here is just squeeze the corners and the back end and you want to hit nice click sound. That's what you want to hear on the side on the back. For the front end, you want to open up the screen and you want to pinch these two covers together and you want to hear that nice click sound. That's what you want to hear. You want to do this all around. If it's not going in, it stays open, you want to open it up again. Just open up again and squeeze in again. So, let me see, open it up. So if it's not going because the hinges probably, you need to check it out, so let me double check that hinges. Make sure there's nothing in the way, some debris. Yeah, some of the dirt and stuff can get in the hinges and it will not close down properly. There we go. Now I'm gonna bring it up, so we're gonna close it down. There we go. So you just wanna pinch the so you want to pinch the top, the front end, and then you want to pinch the side and close up the screen. Put it face down and just tighten up the screws on the bottom cover. And just remember you need to install your windows after upgrading the storage and that should cover up this video. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. And this is how you upgrade the storage for your Lenovo ThinkPad T14 Gen 1 laptop.